Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Recovery Church. I'm your host, Brother D in the house. Hallelujah. And I want to hop right into this. I'll be back at the venue next week. But last week, in a Friday night and Sunday night, I spoke and preached on the holy fire, embracing and receiving the fire. For John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water for repentance. But one coming after me whose sandals I'm not even fit to talk to you as we go through Recovery Church. Amen. Uh, we've gone through the Addiction Center. We've gone through the Treatment Center. You know, we've gone through uh, trials and tribulations. We've come out of addictions. Amen. We're learning to encourage ourselves in the Lord and finding strength in the Lord our God. But through life, sometimes we go through through the fire. But I want you to understand I entitled this through the fire. Hallelujah. Because our troubles that we have on this side, our fires and circumstances we have on this side, they are temporary. They are temporary. So I want you to begin to release anxiety and release fear and release drama and know that you're going to come through this fire, through the situation that you're uh, uh, up against right now, through the failure, through the addiction, through the jealousy, through the disillusionment, through the despair. Shout, I'm going through, hallelujah, this fire. Because Isaiah 43, 2 says this. It says, when you go through the waters... They will not sweep over you. And when you go through the fire, hallelujah, shout, I'm going through. When you go through the fire, you will not be burned. Hallelujah, the flames won't even do anything to you. Can I get an amen? The waters won't sweep you through or sweep you over. Why is that? Because God is with you. God is for you. He's not against you. Can I get an amen? And he, when you receive Christ, when you receive the holy fire of God in your life, hallelujah, I'm recalling what Barney Fife said one time. He told Andy, he said, how do you fight fire? And Andy went, with a hose. And Barney went, no, 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 no. You fight fire with fire. So, my friends, hallelujah, you receive the Holy Spirit. You receive the fire of God. Hell, Jesus said, I've come to bring fire on the earth. And he received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and poured out fire upon the early disciples. And he's still pouring out the fire. Hallelujah. I know Friday night and Sunday, not even yesterday morning, the fire of God fell upon us. I mean, I was actually sitting at my desk today. Today, I got up to walk at work to go to the restroom and kitchen and all that. And I was like, man, I'm light as a feather. I am so light. It was, I hadn't felt this way in a, in a good while. And I'm just light as a feather. I'm just grooving and moving and talking and, you know, selling and praying and worshiping. At about 1130, I'm sitting there. And the holy fire comes upon me. All of a sudden, I, was, I went, man, I feel hot. I feel the fire of God. Hallelujah. Because he's a wind. He's water. Hallelujah. And he's fire. Shout, I receive the fire. So how do I fight the fires of difficulty? How do I fight the fires of, of bad circumstances? I fight them, hallelujah, by interceding and praying and worshiping God in the spirit of the Lord. And the fire of God, hallelujah, will, will, will just be like a block, hallelujah, be like a wall, hallelujah. It'll just subdue the other fire of circumstances and situations and trials. And thought right now the Lord's saying this to me too. Quit believing the lies of the devil. 
you're believing your insecurities and doubts and fears and worries. Kick them out. Use the fire of God in your life. Pray in the Holy Spirit. My gosh, turn the TV off. Turn the negativity. I looked at the news today and I went, you know what, on, 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 on the front headlines, I'm, you know, I feel sorry for those people. You know, I, of course, I, I'm beyond angry. I feel sorry for these people. And it hit me. We have to pray against that spirit behind them. They do not know what they're doing. Every move they make is wrong. And we have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Fire in our lives. And my friends, it's time to just let go of the corporations, let go of the sports, let go of these things, and start praying in the Holy Ghost and fire and binding the spirit that's trying to destroy the land and destroy the nation and destroy. It's time to release the fire and go through this fire, fighting it with fire, the fire of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jeremiah said, it's like a I had to open my mouth. I couldn't stay quiet because it's like a fire shut up in my bones. You got to say something. You got to pray. You got to seek God. You got to open your mouth and release the fire of God. Hallelujah. Who will defeat the devil every time. So my friends walk in the spirit and walk in fire because the, the fire of circumstances aren't going to sweep over you. And hallelujah, check this out. If they throw you in the fire, there's a fourth man in the fire with you because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three Hebrew children refuse to compromise. They got through in the fire. They said, hey, our God is able. But even if he doesn't, let me tell you something, Mr. Devil. I will not worship your idols. We will not bow down to you. Hallelujah. Because of they didn't compromise. Hallelujah. Because of their fire of commitment to God and his word. Hallelujah. You know what? The, the, the king looked up and said, hey, didn't we throw three men in this fire? I see a fourth man. He looks like the son of God. Hallelujah. And he said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abendo, come here, come out. And they came through and out of the fire. And the only thing that was burnt, my friends, were the ropes that held them captive. My gosh, the fire of God will burn up the ropes, burn up the trouble, burn up the trial, burn up the addiction, burn up the disappointment, burn up the despair. My friend, it's time to walk in Holy Spirit fire. So lift your hands right now and say, Lord, I receive the fire. Hallelujah. I feel it now. Lord, uh, just move upon the people. Say, Lord, I, I receive the fire. I cherish the fire. The fire cleanses the fire purifies. The fire makes things strong and healthy. The fire energizes. The fire, hallelujah, cleans, hallelujah, and burns up all the wood, hay, and stubble. Whoo, my goodness, I received the fire. And when we go through trials and temptations and tribulations and the fires of, of troubles and trials and mountains and situations, the water is not going to drown you. The fire is not going to burn you. And when you're obeying God and there's, you're in a fire, hallelujah, if you're in addiction, but you love Jesus and need a, a deliverance, hallelujah, if you're sick and need healing, just trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pastor and receive that fire. Hallelujah. Begin to, hallelujah, Jesus called forth and said, Lazarus! Come forth, come out. He come forth and came out. He said, unloose this man and let him go. Hallelujah. So the fire will burn the ropes up and loose you. Hallelujah. So you can be let go. So my friends, just I proclaim and decree in Jesus' name that you're coming through 
this fire. Can I get an amen? And you're going to be on fire for God. Hallelujah. And move in the spirit and move in fire because it's time. Say it's time to embrace the holy fire. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Well, hey, if some couple of announcements. I just finished my CD change, change, front and back cover done. We're getting it to disc makers and CD baby. Hallelujah. It's going to be printed. I've got all the demos and all that kind of stuff, which is the actual CD. Uh, so that'll be out on iTunes and Spotify and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. It'll probably in about a month. And uh, on May 15th, I'm doing another missions concert. Last year, despite COVID, just something grew and came forth. And it was missions concerts. I'm excited about May 15th, Saturday at 5 o'clock, and I want you to come. Hallelujah. It's going to be incredible. Our, our worship leader, Paul, and them is going to do a couple of worship songs. It's Joseph Smith, South Southern Gospel great of the Booth Brothers, director of Teen Challenge Selma, will be there and do a couple of songs. He'll do his international Southern Gospel smash hit uh Hallelujah, the Lamb. Hallelujah. Then he'll testify and tell us what's going on in Selma at Teen Challenge. Then his wife will re release a, 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 what God is doing through her on this incredible ministry that's been birthed. Our video team at church will do a video called A Rescue Story. And then uh, we'll have another speaker too for a few minutes. And then I'm going to release my CD and do uh, all eight songs. Man, we're going to have the lights going. It's going to be rocking up in the house. We'll try to be done no later than 7.15, 7.30. And I want you to come. Restoration Christian Fellowship. Uh, exit 284. We're about a mile off there. It's going to be awesome. Everybody that comes gets this free CD of my new music. And it is awesome, if I say so myself. Hallelujah. You can reach me always at daningram.org and read my books, listen to the music. Hallelujah. Hey, Miss Rhonda, I'm just promoting May 15th. There she is. I'm going to testify. God gave her a thought, gave her an insight, and, and a ministry was birthed. So my missions, concerts, and banquets, all this is not just to raise funds, though we will take an offering up. It is to inspire you that you have a mission on this earth and the fire brings a purpose into your life. Hallelujah. And so I'm excited about it. May 15th, 5 o'clock, you can instant message me, uh, whatever if you need to. Um, if you want to get a ticket, if you go to our church or whatever, you can go to rcffamily.org. Click on Give, and then it'll carry you to where it'll say General Fund or whatever. Click on RCF Missions, and it's $10. That gives you a green top barbecue and all that, a CD. And once the 60 tickets sell out, just come and be a part of it, man. Hallelujah. And I'll give you a CD for coming and enjoying it. So anyway, hallelujah. Everybody has a purpose. Amen. So walk in the fire, and if you're going through the fire right now, I just said it, you're going through the fire and it won't even burn you because you fight fire with fire. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Thanks for this edition of Recovery Church. I'll see you next time. Shalom, shalom, my friends.